Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 7 of I'm in Love with a Villainous, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I wonder how this is gonna go. <laughs> Is right. I mean, but she is superior in this issue, in this experience and stuff. So, I mean, it would be right. That means you too. <laughs> but the whip you in the shape. One more time. <laughs> yeah, that's really putting your heart and soul into it. Was jealous just spelled with a Z or was that me? <laughs> okay. No, well, we know that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you can't say that. Are we even getting an opening today? Oh, never mind. There we go. Because <laughs> I was like, we're like 
four minutes into this and there's no opening. Like, whoa. <laughs> I don't know how I have all this energy. I just got off of work like two hours ago and I'm not recording and I'm tired and I got to open up tomorrow. I want to cry. Ah! <laughs> So good. Oh. oh my god. Oh look at you. Oh. Oh. It's perfect. Oh my god! Oh, of course she has. <laughs> Can't say that. Oh my god. <laughs> Is this a love confession? Hmm. 
<laughs> dodo bird. We don't have anything, dodo bird. I mean, but you're from a different nation, and you know that too. True, you're right about that. Literally gives feels towards the Karens and the Kens of the world. <laughs> You okay? Hey, good boy. No.
You okay? Hmm, what a coincidence. Oh, that's your bitchy. But, I mean, that's okay. That's why I like you. I like the bitchy characters. Not like bitch from Ra uh, Rising of the Shield Hero. Fuck her. But, I mean, she gives me Blair Waddle vibes. And that's why I really like Blair. Together. Like a date. No. That would literally be me and my other number one fan. Hi, Andrea. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is the wrong idea. Me, I for one would enjoy it. Hello, haunted house, even a scary one for a festival. Yes. <laughs> is that supposed to be a pepper? <laughs> Can we just also talk about the fact that Ray is still wearing her butler outfit? I mean, because she could have gone back. Oh, that's beautiful. Girl. She could have the necklace. Aww. Stop. Yeah. That's sweet, though. Well, babe, it's complicated. It's a long story.
No. But that is her real answer. A really pretty animal though. I'm gonna go ahead and say this. This show immediately needs to get a second season. If this show don't get a second season by the time this show is over, I'm gonna have a problem because, okay, we now know, I did find out, I think one girl or someone who, I do I follow this person on Twitter? I kinda do, but I don't think I do. Like her stuff pops up on my timeline feed from time to time. And she's been posting a lot of this show. Um, and I did see something. It is a big spoiler, but I mean, hint, hint, nudge, nudge. If you already know what it is, you already know. Um, but the fact that, you know, Ray tells Claire, like, you saved me. It's something that we've all kind of said, you know, towards our favorite anime characters and stuff. Or just fictional characters in general. Where we were in this tough rut couldn't get it out whatever and then we finally get out of it due to this and such and we're a lot happier because of x y and z of what you know how passionate this character is that you meet and you're like hugely obsessed with them me with kaede takagaki from idol master cinderella girls or my rosalia babes behind me even though you can't see them because you know that's just a picture our pictures um or anything else like I have merch of like so many different things and stuff and so it, it was sweet Sure. Did the noble lose? Well, that's not good. Is that a wolf? Okay, now now we're going like the other villainous show. Um, I, hold on, uh, I'm the villainous, so I'm taming the final boss, aka probably not my personal number one. Um, out of villainous isekai shows besides uh Katarina and her lovely villainous harem. That that is like that was my number one until so taming final boss came out, and I you know, cause you all's in that show and such. But you know, we'll talk about that another freaking day. Um. <laughs> But yeah, this was really cute. Once again, finally seeing the guys and like made outfits was just the highlight. Seeing the girls, just as butlers, the other highlight. Like it just, it's so good. Like I, once again, I cannot win episodes of anime do like the maid cafe and we actually get to see girls dress up as butlers and stuff. I, I get weak. Like, I, I can't. Once again, I'm not for that team, but if I was, if I was, like, yes, I have girl crushes on, like, several anime, uh, female anime characters. Like, the biggest one that I can think of right now, like, on the top of my head is fucking Maki from Jujutsu Kaisen because it's fucking Maki. Like, how can you not have a crush on Maki? So you either have a crush on Maki or Mikasa from Attack on Titan. Or who else from Attack on Titan? Annie? But see, I didn't have a crush on Annie. Annie. I, I just, Annie's my best girl. So I was like, no. Mikasa, I kinda um, 
ish because I was like, oh my god, but you know, now I'm like, no, you're just badass bitch, and I want your energy. Like, yes, badass bitch energy. I need that in my life, and I, me, I feel like I'm a badass bitch already, but still. Um, but yes, seeing them in the different outfits, oh my god, and then just having Claire and Ray go on a date together was just super duper sweet. I mean, so freaking cute and adorable as hell. <laughs> And the fact is that, you know, Ray got the amulet for her. And, you know, as Claire is asking her, well, you love me and such, but you're helping me or you're trying to get me with one of the princes, Prince Thane, and stuff. Why? But she she's like, I can love you from afar by making you happy. And I think that's really sweet because even if someone genuinely does not reciprocate in your feelings just the thought of them being happy even if it's not with you but it's someone else like you can still love them for that and it's very complicated love is a fucking complicated thing and you just never know you never freaking know um it's a <laughs> it's the craziest game in the world of life besides life itself but i, I mean how as someone who's been in three different relationships and stuff. And I've said this once again, I only, when I really said I love you to my last ex and currently meant it with my last ex, like the, one of my exes who, this should be my my first ex, um, when I said it to him, I, I got those feelings, but I felt like it didn't feel true. But like my, my last ex, I really, was like, I can see myself marrying this dude in ish. Um, but yeah, it's okay. My one is out there for me. I don't know where the fuck he is, but he out there. He out there, but you know. I just can't wait say, but yeah, this is a cute cool, you know, episode. I fucking loved it. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction towards episode seven. Um, I'm about to say my next life is the villainous. <laughs> I'm in love with the villainous. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday or Tuesday, depending on, because now I'm about to stay longer at work for hours and such and for extra money. But either next Monday or Tuesday for Episode 8. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.